you. So in the next uh, six minutes or so, I just have time to uh, make an introduction to, to these uh, various uh, devices. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, so there's a long list of these devices, and every day there's more. And I'll go through some of these very quickly in the next few minutes. Obviously, front runner one, one is one of the earliest ones. Uh, that it, it, it creates a dissection plane, uh, and you sort of dissect down, sort of like this popliteal occlusion that you get through and and and, uh, and uh, angioplasty. Uh, wingman inspection, another uh, set of devices out there. That this uh, sharp end actually protrudes out uh, on uh, with actuation on the back of the catheter. And uh, the, the SPECS also is a very helpful device, and you can see very calcified lesion that we were stuck and nothing was advancing. Once you get a stiff wire across, as you can see, this thing is a very pushable catheter. It has an angle that you can put through it that you can sort of direct in one way or the other and sort of get through, get, get across the occlusion. Um, and then the, your, your treatment as, as uh, your treatment follows. The Wildcat and Kitty Cat. Kitty Cat is a smaller version of uh, the Wildcat. Is, uh, usually usually uh, use it below the knee, and Wildcat is slightly larger above the knee. It has a corkscrew, as you can see on it, and it has a spinning in the back uh, that you turn it on, and the, uh, it's a motor that, that, that spins, and you can advance, and they go over 035 and 014 wire. Power wire, I have not <coughs> used in the arterial side. We have used this in the venous side, which sometimes they're more difficult to cross than on the arterial side, especially with fibrotic lesions. It is RF, so be careful. Uh, and it can easily poke through the vessels and be outside. So, so if, you're not, if you haven't used this before, this is not the first time. In the arteries, is not the first time to use it. Uh, the uh, uh, crosser, obviously, uh, is the advantage of this is it has a uh, atherectomy indication, so you can bill for it, but it generates energy as you advance it in, and uh, with a catheter right behind it. The uh, Viance catheter is a, uh, is a multi core wire, as you can see. It has a, a spinning mechanism in the back that you can core through the occlusion. Uh, and uh, and get through the uh, through the uh, obstruction. True path is uh, is a uh, actually a diamond uh, coated tip, so it is truly a a uh, uh, atherectomy device. It's spin. Uh, it's compatible with 018 type catheters. So uh, by itself, it's not over the wire. It is the wire, but it spins. It has a, a uh, uh, angling device that you can put it and angle it, so it can get, sort of get you from uh, uh, you have some steerability to it and with the catheter right behind it. Laser has been used, been de described a lot uh, as a CTO device to break the cap both proximally and distally. I won't get much into it. The, uh, uh, the center cross and multi cross, uh, which is now, uh, it was Roxwood Medical, uh, acquired by BTG, which is now Boston Scientific. It allows you to center uh, and, and also <coughs> grip, a, into, grip the vessel to so, so give you some pushability. In fact, if you look at the uh, uh, force, uh, the pressure uh, the, or penetration force with these types of devices is orders of magnitude higher than the catheters and wires when you have fixation and centering. On the same concept, you have the Houdini catheter, which uh, the balloon fixates the system and centers the, uh, the, the wire. Uh, the, the plunger, when you plunge, the, uh, the, you advance the plunger, it advances the wire, uh, and with the uh, uh, support of the balloon and centering, it actually penetrates the occlusion. The only thing is that when you do that, you have only this much room, then you have to retract and advance everything to get through longer occlusions. Okay. Laser CTO has been used, uh, hello. Uh, and, and this is the uh, raw medical that has actually some data behind it with over 90% uh, success rate. Sound light crossing system is, generates energy by uh, the sound, bit, sound bites, and you can actually, by, by, uh, uh, actually uh, ultrasonic energy, and you can actually get through the occlusions. They also have some energy, some data behind it with over 90% uh, 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 success rate. Go back uh, has FDA approval recently or, or uh, clearance recently. It's a combination of a CTO device and reentry device just in case you need it. And it's a pretty good uh, uh, catheter uh, that transmits the force from the tip of your catheter to the tip of the, from your uh, hand to the tip of the catheter. 
there's quite a bit of data on this, uh, uh, on, on all of these, suggesting that, that uh, these catheters or these devices can actually improve your success rate when you uh, fail with just the standard catheters and wires. So in conclusion, that was just a very short summary introduction to all of these. They all have their own learning curves, and uh, well, it, it would actually behoove you if you have one or two of these on the shelf uh, because every once in a while you'll need them. Thank you.